Isaiah is 11 years old. He has Duchenne muscular dystrophy, um, which means that his muscles continue to deteriorate. Heart, lungs, uh, bladder, every muscle um, in the body. You picture having no control over your body and having no ability to do the things that you want to be able to do. Things as simple as bending over and picking up a pencil you dropped on the floor um, are arduous tasks that he can no longer do. You never want your kid to feel like they're a burden on you. You never want them to think that you don't want to help them. However, when you lose your independence um, and you have to rely on other people, you do start to feel like you're a burden. Since Leo came along, Isaiah is just much happier. He doesn't have to ask us for help as much. Thank you. He gets outside more because he feels like he has a friend to play with outside more. Good boy. And he loves having him in the room when he plays Legos. Oh yeah, I, what I do sometimes is I make a creation and I'm moving around him and stuff and he, and he tries to attack it which is fun, and he also cleans up the Legos with me. Go get it. Bring it. Drop. Thank you. He seems to enjoy his life much more than he used to. So we decided to homeschool because Isaiah is declining so fast. We, we want to spend every minute that we can with him. And in Duchenne world, you never know how long you have. So it was an easy decision. Leo contributed to the decision because we were fresh home with him and they need bonding time and the training time and, and Leo can be here helping him. So Isaiah's always had a hard time making friends. Other boys his age, they wanna run, they wanna play, they wanna be boys, they want to play basketball. And Isaiah can't do those things. He's never been able to do those things. It's sad when you want friends for your kid. It's sad that they already have to deal with so much in their medical diagnosis. And then all you really want is for them to be able to enjoy the life that they have. Now with Leo, Leo's the icebreaker and I will come into a room full of kids and he's surrounded by all these girls and boys. <laughs> Isaiah loves showing his friends the circus tricks, like bowing and he'll, he'll pivot around a book and he prays and oh, boy. He'll, he'll play dead. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Very cool. I, when I was researching dogs, I came across a bunch of different places that do service dogs. They were like $20,000 for a dog. There's no way we could afford that. When I found out that Ken Do Canines provides these dogs that are fully trained for no cost to the client, that was huge for us. It's amazing to know that people care enough to have an organization that would do that for children and adults with these types of disabilities. Sometimes when I feel sad and lo um, lonely kind of, I, he is a good, he cheers me up really good. I love having him as a dog. I think it's hard for people to really understand how much of an impact this can have on someone's life unless you've been there. Leo can be his arms and his legs. He can be his boys. My hope is that Isaiah will be happy regardless of how he is physically, that he will be able to enjoy life and he will be able to feel loved.
Most of all, I want him to feel safe. Leo makes Isaiah feel safe. <laughs>